boxes. It says extreme bed frame. This is me, Evie, and I'm here with Jer. Hi. And we're gonna just tell you about our bed. So, when I moved here, I told Jeremy I could not sleep in this bed that you have. It's so miserable. Did I not? Yeah, you did, pretty much. So we ordered the bed that I had when I lived in New York. And Jeremy loved it. Mm -hmm. I loved it. So fast forward, and it was also a queen. Maybe we should say that. Yeah, queen, queen bed. It was a queen bed, and it's upstairs. Well, fast forward to me falling. And the doctor's telling me, yeah, you're not going to be doing steps for a very long time. So we had to make our living room our den bedroom. Mm -hmm. And our library had to turn into our living room. So we're, we've been messing around with stuff ever since. But what we got for a bed is what we're here to talk about. So Jeremy ordered the same exact bed that we had upstairs, but in a king for downstairs. And what we got was a nightmare from the very moment I got home. Uh, if this wasn't a sign that something was awry, I don't know what was. But the one of the fire, the fire guys that was helping to get me in grabs the sheet, pulls it, tears it, brand new flannel sheets with little bears on them. Especially for me and my homecoming. Mm -hmm. Jeremy was like, I want to make you comfortable. <sighs> and turns out we did need the king size room. Especially when I first come home. Because I had to have my foot up, or I couldn't touch anything. Like, it was a mess. But it and, was a good thing that I bought a second pair of sheets, so I had them to put on the bed to replace the ripped one. Yes. You did plan that out. But what was the second pair? Oh, the green plaid. Mm -hmm. We had green plaid. And we're flannel people normally. Cause it's really cold here and our home is how old is this house 1900 so it's really old <laughs> and it's been added on to and oh it's a mess anyway so back to what we were talking about i've been on this bed since october and literally i had not slept a good night's sleep and so long, I can't even remember. I couldn't turn over in the bed at all. Jeremy could barely turn over in the bed. And can you imagine all the rolling I had to do when things like the bath and bathroom and everything had to be in bed because I couldn't put any weight on my foot. This bed was miserable, people, miserable. And I guess I saw it more so because I was in it all the time. So progressively, we just got more and more and more upset about how painful we were waking up, how we weren't getting a good night's sleep, and we just didn't know what to do. I was literally in a state of, I don't know, like I... I was at the end of my rope, really. And on a whim, one of my friends uh, posted my name, I believe, on a giveaway for a big fig um, from Miss Sarah. And um, she was doing a giveaway with Big Fig. And on that whim, I just, you know, it said, why do you need this big fig? Or, why why are you applying or whatever i can't remember exactly what i had to write but i think it was something about why the bed would be good for jeremy and i and 
then it was announced that I won. I literally cried when I read it because I was like, Jeremy, this is like an answer of a prayer. And Jeremy doesn't really believe in the whole God thing, but I do. And I do know that this bed was straight from God. It was an answer to our prayers. It was what, four or five at the most days later mm -hmm. that we received our bed. Now, there was a whole big thing with the mailing system and it actually got lost within a few miles of a, and, and it went to somewhere that we don't know how that become the address. We have a theory though. We think they just didn't want to deliver it because they ended up leaving it at our garage. Walking distance, obviously, it's in our yard, but it's not connected. Bed is literally miles from me and I'm never gonna get it. But then when they did deliver it, like that was good. But because they were throwing it around, I was literally watching them on the- um, Doorbell camera. Yeah, the doorbell camera. I literally saw them throwing the boxes around. And so when we opened it, sure enough, a piece of the bed frame, the bed frame was broken. So a key we, piece. Yes, a very key piece. And um, I was like, oh no, what am I gonna do? But I, like, I didn't know that um, they would replace, Big Fig would replace it, but they did. And it was like here two days later we had already opened the mattress, so like we just slept on the box frame on the floor, which was kind of cool. Like it wasn't a problem. A bit low enough. Yeah, I mean we are older people, so. <laughs> anyway, we we did sleep on the floor slash box screens and mattress for like two or three nights, and then we got the new piece or the whole new set actually, and we put it together and boom, here is our bed. Mm -hmm. And then I love Big Fig so much. Then we got their new um, premium cooling sheet sets. Now we haven't put them on the bed yet because it literally just got warm yesterday. And so we're looking forward to these. Mm -hmm. They feel so amazing. Like it almost feels like, it almost feels like silk, right? Yeah, it's a nice smooth material. And okay. sustainable lyocell fibers. You hurting. And it says it helps you stay cool during the night. And it's a full set of sheets. I can't wait to use them. But then, last week, I believe, and I've been dying to open them, we have gotten adjustable pillows, mm -hmm. and then we also received... Adjustable body pillows. Adjustable body pillows. Ta-da! So we're gonna open them with you. We have like 400 pillows that we've been trying various positions with, and our pillows are old, we needed them replaced. So this too is a blessing. Are you ready? I am ready, let's okay. open these bad boys. They might explode. <laughs> We're gonna do the body pillows first. I'm so excited for these. Yo, I have such a bad spine and neck, like pillows are so important. I do have one pillow that's pretty decent and it's new and I actually bought it for Jeremy for Christmas and he hated it. So I started using it and actually it was the pillow I used while I was in the hospital as well. Um, but for me, I have to have a great base pillow and then um, the other pillow. Oh, so you could adjust the body pillow after you get it set up. Oh. What's that for? I don't know. It's a bag. Okay. 
unroll outer plastic. Do not cut. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're opening. Carefully cut second layer of plastic at the end. So here. Okay. Remove pillow. That two or one? one pillow. Oh one wow! Pillow. Oh, that's my pillow. I'm just saying. That's Jeremy, Jeremy, who? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Let's put it. Actually, we both could use it if I wasn't wrapping it around me. Yeah, I think that'll be in between us and the bed. Not in between us, but in between us. <laughs> so, let me tell you how it does. So, you can adjust this pillow. Grab the bag. Unzip the outer and inner layers of the pillow. Remove an initial amount of foam and place it in the provided plastic bag. So if you get one of these and you open it up and you're like, what's the plastic bag for? Read the instructions. Save foam and provided bag for future adjustments. Test the firmness of the adjusted pillow and add or remove additional foam as directed. And then the care instructions is the outer covering of a big fig adjustable pillows are machine washable with warm water. Do not use bleach. They can be tumble dry on low heat, but should be removed promptly. So well, should we show this? Yeah. I have a feeling we're not going to be removing any of the foam. No, probably not. Oh yeah, it's like in a bag. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's, let me show the foam. It's like little cut up pieces of foam. That's unique, right? Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Is this the cooling stuff as well? Yes. Because the pillow itself feels cool. Now, my question yeah, is... Yeah, adjustable and extra long. My question is, where do you get a pillowcase this long? <laughs> Sure they sell well they sell body pillows i'm sure they sell pillowcases oh. <laughs> we'll have to look into that yeah. lay this on the bed it goes all the way across almost i think Oh yeah, it goes, it will, it's going to go almost all the way across our king bed if we decide to wear, use it that way. But I promise you at some point that's going to be like under my leg, and over, under my arm, or when my sciatica is under my hip. It won't be near me. No, because Jeremy literally sleeps on the side of the bed. And it's not because he doesn't have room. There is literally enough space between me and him to have another person there. Nobody needs to apply for that position either. It's usually filled up by other creatures. Oh, this is true. We have a few stuffed animals that sleep with us. And we're not talking about Belle either. <laughs> no, that's not gonna happen. Thankfully, Belle can't jump on the bed. The bed we had upstairs, the first one, she could. And Thankfully, she hasn't tried. She would literally push. Jeremy slept on the floor a couple of nights because Belle took over the bed. Same instructions on this one. Ooh, this one comes with pillowcases. Oh, this is the um cooling body pillowcase oh, premium. The oh, pillow I, I was thinking it was same type of pillow. I'm the same bag. No, but it's 
is the body pillowcase. It's so cool because this literally is my um, color theme. Yeah, it's the body pillow one. Oh, okay. Interesting. There, there it goes that problem. They took care of us. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut it. If I get the big one, I guess I could let you have the little one. I guess. We'll see how that goes. That's two pillows. Oh, it's two of them. So we both can get one. Mm -hmm. They're very substantial weighted. Same materials, same bag, same instructions. She always gives me garbage. Oh my god. That is our big fig story. Mm -hmm. They have totally taken care of us. And the bed we love so much. I can turn over and with ease, but it still feels like it uh, uh, conforms to your body. I can get up off of it. It's so good. We love it so much. And it doesn't hurt my back. That's a good thing. Because you've had to do a lot of uh, EV transporting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Jeremy, what is the hardest thing? I'm putting you on the spot. Okay. What is the hardest thing for you since I've been for you since I come home from the hospital? Getting sleep. Getting sleep. Would you like to explain? Well, there's just a lot of things to do now. So a lot of things to do in the morning, a lot of things to do at night. And I think it's a hard um, choice between spending time together like after work versus we need to go to bed because we mm -hmm. we are we're both a bit of a TV addict. We need our TV weekly TV shows. We need that time in front of the TV, um, and we watch a lot of the same stuff. So you know that's our way of spending time together, and there is a lot to do because. Mm -hmm. I still am, I'm so uncoordinated. I don't think it's much as much getting around as the coordination problem, right? Because mm -hmm. I can walk. Sometimes it hurts too much to walk. And sometimes I'm just too off balance to walk. But technically I can walk. Mm -hmm. And, but it still involves a lot of help. And I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And I'm thankful for it. Has any good come from this time of um, me healing? Well, you're getting better. You're starting to get around. Um, we got rid of some old furniture. Cleaned out a lot of things. You and now we, now we can... Uh, Get some good sleep and a good bed. With good pillows. Now with good pillows. With cooling sheets. Jeremy needs the cooling sheets more than I do. Mm -hmm. The man sweats. He gets hot at night. I mean, you're always hot. But, you know. He sweats at night. I'm more so a cool... Do I ever sweat? I don't think I ever sweat. But yesterday, I was like looking at Jeremy. And I was like, why are you sweating? He's like, because it's hot. I'm like, no, no, it's not. It's going to be hotter today. I think it's perfect temperature today. But we do have fan on. Mm -hmm. So, I we just want to thank Big Fig. Like, we really needed this. Mm -hmm. And it was such a blessing for me. Just mm -hmm. reminding me of how God looks out for me. And it meant so much. And I just want to thank you. Thank you, Big Fig. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> All right. We're going to say goodbye. Hope you enjoyed this little 
talk time with Jeremy and us showing you our big fig. Okay, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let your fingers do the walking to the bell and hit it so you will know when I have new content. Remember, you are loved.